Hello everybody, continuing working on the car. Um, I went out to the auto parts store and I bought some of this uh, leather conditioner. It's supposed to restore leather, vinyl, and prevent cracking, and it uh, moisturizes and softens the leather according to the uh, propaganda on the front of the bottle. <laughs> so we're gonna, I've got the seats still out of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them and, and, and uh, rejuvenate them, I guess, with this today. And then we're gonna get them put back in and then I also bought some uh, carpet cleaner because in the in the rear uh, of the car, the kids when they were younger, uh, they spilled some drinks and uh, you know maybe some, there, there's some spots back there from tracking in and out from you know from soccer fields and of course parking lots you get grease on your feet whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the carpets in the back of the car, um, condition the seats, <clears throat> and I've got some uh, microfiber towels here that I'm going to use to clean the windows, get the back window as clean as possible because it's real easy to get to right now with that uh, speaker deck out. So we're going to do that. Then we'll get the speaker deck put back in. We'll get the seats put back in. And uh, I've also bought some cotton towels. These are for cleaning the seats and I can use the microfibers as well for buffing them. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. I'm going to read the instructions real quick, make sure I apply it properly. And uh, I'm going to start uh, cleaning the seats. Then we'll do the carpet and We'll just go from there. I went ahead and pulled the car out of the garage and just set up a table because that'll be a whole lot easier to work on the seats. They really look nice. The back seats have not been used that much uh, because with the kids being so small, you know, we drive them around in a van with car seats and then booster seats for so long. And even now that they're older, we still spend the majority of our time uh, going somewhere as a family in the van. So they've not received a lot of wear and tear, but I was concerned about the tops of the seats because the sun this is where the sun beats through the window so I really want to do a good job on the top of the seat the headrest area and uh, all we've got to do <clears throat> we spray this on take a clean cotton cloth rub it in in a circular motion and just to sort of you know help it really get into the leather let it set for 15 to 30 minutes uh, probably going to be a little closer to 30 minutes because it's so cold out. It may dry a little slower. I'm guessing on that. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to film the process. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll take a photo of the seats before and then uh, I'll go ahead and put the conditioner on. I, I may come back and show you a, a clip of it with the conditioner on them. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. And then when I buff it off, uh, I'll wipe it off with another clean towel and then I'll buff it up with a microfiber cloth and then I'll take a photo and show how the seats look post, uh, post conditioning. So, uh, and it may not be all that great because the light in the garage isn't that great, but hopefully we'll be able to see some type of difference. They should be a little shinier. They're kind of dull right now, but I'm going to get busy. So I'll come back and see you real soon. The product went on really easily. I mean, it's like a water. You can still see some damp areas where it's drying. This seat's been going for about maybe seven minutes. You can still see, like I said, a few wet areas, but it's really, the seats were dry. They're really absorbing it. So I'm thinking this one over here, I just finished. So it's still real shiny. It hasn't all the way absorbed in yet. I'm thinking I may end up putting a second coat because it absorbed it so, so uh, quickly. And I don't think that it'll hurt the seats to do that. But I think what I'll do is go ahead, let this dry for 15 minutes. If I still see some wet areas, I'll let it sit a little longer. But once the, uh, once the surface area looks good and dry, I'm going to go ahead and buff it like it says on the product, uh, on the container. And if it doesn't have a nice shine and doesn't feel, I can feel a difference already. Uh, but if it doesn't feel like I think it should, I, I may go ahead and apply a second coat while I've got everything out. And this is so much easier than doing it in the car. So I'll keep you guys posted. I hope the lighting in here is good enough to see this, but... I've buffed this seat and I've buffed this stripe. See how it's kind of dull on this side, but it's got a little more of a shine on this side. And like I said, it's really obvious in the shop, especially around the corner where the sunlight's hitting it. Um, it's buffing up really nice and it's got a nice soft feel to it. So I think the product did a pretty decent job. I'm gonna go ahead and buff the rest of this seat out. Then we'll buff up the top section and uh, I think I'm going to call it good. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. I think I'll buff them with this cloth here and then I'll come back and use another cloth just to give it once more over because, you know, as you're buffing it off, you get kind of a residue like wax on the towel. And I want to make sure I hit it with a good clean towel to finish it up. So I'll let you guys know how it turns out. I ended up letting the seat surfaces dry for about 20 minutes. 
Uh, at that point, I didn't see any areas that were shiny like they were damp. It was more kind of a dull, hazy look, which is what I expected from the description the product gave me. So I took a clean cotton cloth and I rubbed them down really good, rotating the cloth often, just like you would removing wax from a car. And once I was done, I laid that cloth aside and got a third clean cloth, cotton cloth, and buffed them a little bit. And you can see they really look nice. They're nice and shiny. Uh, in a, at the end of the video here, I'll show you a photo of the before and after. And uh, that'll be my first chance to really get <laughs> take a look and see if it made a difference. But it sure does feel nice. They've got a nice, nice soft feel to them. And... Uh, We'll see how this works. Uh, I'm not endorsing this as the best product on the market, but in case anyone asks, it's Blue Magic Leather Cream Conditioner is what I used. It was under 10 bucks at the auto parts store. The seats have a really nice shine to them. They look clean, they look fresh, the leather looks new. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting them back in the car. Well, I gotta say I'm happy. Uh, I'm gonna take these seats for now. I'm gonna lay them aside, put them back over here behind me where they were, get this table put away. Then I'm gonna bring the car in because uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video down so it doesn't get too long. Uh, next up, I've gotta clean the rear window, get the speaker, the, the, the deck reinstalled over top of the speakers, which is the speaker covers, and then the deck behind the back seat. And once that's reinstalled, I'm gonna clean the carpets. Uh, that'll be the next video that I'm getting ready to start here in a minute for you guys. And my, my idea is to kind of keep these videos really short. Uh, once the carpet's cleaned, I'm gonna let it dry until it's as dry as, you know, fully dried, and then I'll get the seats reinstalled. So um, that may wait till tomorrow to install and let it dry overnight. I don't know. It just, with it being cold out, things just don't dry as quick as they should. But I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Come back and see me again real soon, and uh, I got some more great videos coming.